it's like, la, 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 la. it's because of my bleeding nose. Oh yeah, this, yeah, okay. Oh, I just got some. It's like, it's like, it's really uncomfortable. Oh yeah, okay. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel! As you can tell by the title, Sean and I are going to be answering your questions about how we survived long distance relationship. Just a little quick rundown, Sean and I have been doing long distance for like a year and eight months. Last year, Sean moved to Christchurch down south um, to study and I just stayed in Palmy. And then in March, I went to Canada for eight months and that's like the main long distance I suppose just a disclaimer before we start um, how our long distance went isn't exactly how yours might go if you're in that situation like all relationships are totally different and how they cope and deal with different situations <laughs> I don't know how to say it don't expect to experience it the same way we did um, and one other thing is that uh, we'd been together for five years and we'd built up a lot of trust and that's definitely something that you want to have in place before you embark on this journey you want to you want to be able to trust each other yeah expectations you want to know what the other expects of you while you're away first question <sighs> did you guys talk to each other all the time not really because like especially during summer camp i was with kids all day all night five times a week and so i didn't really get time in my breaks to message him i found it really hard because the internet connection at camp was absolutely horrible especially during summer so we didn't really video call at all during the week it was mostly like yeah. my breaks which was saturday no i mean even then when we could talk i'd usually be like real busy adventuring and going around places and it was really hard to like make same, time same. <laughs> like, if you're messaging or calling like face calling you don't really get that connection and that's something that i really like found quite difficult because i just would really miss him lots and lots and he just would want to cuddle yeah that's my answer <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole video i mean lena she talked to me a lot she always sent me videos we didn't like we didn't talk so much at the same time if you know what i mean quick tip messenger sends very small videos so find something that sends big videos so you don't have to send heaps of yeah like sections ones, yeah did you ever have to deal with jealousy so not really not probably the jealousy you're thinking of like led to other guys maybe but i mean i was i found it was difficult because she was overseas doing its cool things the camp um so i was sort of jealous but obviously very happy for her she was doing heaps of cool things but no not not in a bad way i guess yeah yeah i didn't either i was like the one traveling and he was studying so i had a lot of fun times just to clear this up. okay <laughs> <laughs> did you ever feel like it was easier to break up during a long distance no i never thought that at all if we had those thoughts in our heads i don't think we would have even done the long distance because like what was the point of doing long distance when you knew you're gonna break up I think in reality, it is a bit easier to break up with someone because it takes a lot of effort to yeah, spend a whole true. year trying to communicate hard, like, I mean, well, um, and trying to support your other person, your other, your other half, and all of that. So, like, in reality, it, it technically is easier, but it's worth the fight, I'd say, worth putting in the effort. How did you support each other? So being in a long distance relationship really helped me appreciate how much Sean supported me and I feel like if we didn't go in a long distance then I wouldn't have realized like to what extent he supports me. Mm. If I like got drunk for example so I'll tell Sean and then like obviously he would be disappointed but he would be disappointed because he knew how I felt about that type of stuff back when I was at home. Like, Sean wasn't really like judgmental, like, oh, Alina, why'd you do that? He was always there to listen to me and give me outside opinions. Do you hear some Thank you. For me, I feel like I had a lot of support around me for my faith in God and for study and all of that. But I sort of, I, I felt like I just needed support in terms of our relationship. So, like, made yourself available um, and you sent me some videos you kept me in the loop let me know what you were doing so that I didn't get like anxious or you know have any doubts so that was nice I think that's the main way she supported me 
just in um, strong communication. What was the hardest part of a long distance relationship? So communication was real hard because again I had really really bad internet connection and like when I wanted to call him it would just wouldn't work. I think it was just not being able to like talk to them when you wanted to because it like often left you like, overthinking things Yeah. or unsure about things and that wasn't very nice so probably that's communication. Has long distance helped your relationship? Oh yeah, this is a hard question. Let me see, I didn't write anything for this, I think. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. I think one aspect is like individual growth. We had time to just sort of develop ourselves, grow apart, and then when we came together, oh, and, and while we were apart, I think, a lot of issues sort of came to light, just because we weren't always together. And I feel like when we were together, heaps didn't give us enough time to think. Yeah. I think Sean and I have grown a lot um, because, like, we've been together since year 10 and we, like, hung out, like, almost every day after school. Like, he would walk me home or we just, like, spent a lot of time together. And even, like, till year 13 and afterward, that we haven't really, like, had a good amount of time where we can just, like, be separate and actually discover ourselves. I am happy that we had did long distance. Yeah, sure. Like it wasn't a negative thing. I think it's definitely like helped us mature and we kind of like see our goals and know what we want in each other in our future. Yeah, but if you don't have to do it, don't do it. I'm not saying like go ahead and go to Canada, you know, just for no reason. No. If you can be together, then it's not a <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it. Remember to like and subscribe. Whoop. Yeah, I feel like I'm not sitting straight. Wow, my back is sore. We should just sit up straight now. <sighs> like high school, you like you discover your scalp. Wait. <laughs> Did you see that really weird? Your scalp. <laughs> your scalp. Yeah. I'd fall asleep. <laughs> Did you just talk? Oh, so I'm supposed to talk about how you support me. Uh, no, how I supported you. That's what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh. I don't understand. I'm how you can be what? so excited about everything. Because everything is just so exciting. But it's not. <laughs> it is. For you. Yeah. <laughs> no, like how, like a small problem, you overthink about it so much. I mean, no, I don't know like, if you just said that. You, what? You just like, It's meant to be funny because I'm overthinking. I can get it. I like right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took a long time. Yeah. Okay.